You're a dick, you know. And you're a cut. Maybe we'll fit together after all. Uh, Johnny's what some of us might consider a little rough around the edges, if you will. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I'm drawing the one, the only Johnny Silverhand, as well as his boy V. We're going to be talking about all things cyberpunk, so stick around. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, let's jump right in. As always, when I'm working on a piece like this, the Cyberpunk one, no different from the rest, I always start with thumbnails, especially especially when I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to be going. It's, it's in those instances, specifically when I'm going to need a roadmap, like a really, even if it's rough, even if it's just a general idea, I got to know where I'm going. And while being completely honest with you, um, anyone who's watching right now, dude, this one drove me up a wall. I seriously was pulling my hair out. This is actually the second version of this I did. I wasted the better part of a day working on a completely different version of Johnny Silverhand and V, kind of like in a dingy room looking in a mirror, yada, yada, yada. It just didn't fit. So this, uh, these two with a car, this was still, still, still not working for me. Yeah, no, this was frustrating as all hell. I'd be cursing a lot more now, but it's still early on the video and YouTube punishes you for that. However, I want to throw myself out of a goddamn window while doing this, but, but I didn't give up. Here, look, I switched things up right now. I decided what's wrong with this. The camera angle is making it stiff, is making it boring. Instead of having a dead on camera angle, I decided to do two things. One, let's do some, let's do some uh, foreshortening. Let's. Let's put, let's place the camera, the invisible goddamn camera. Let's place it closer to the ground, pointing upwards. And let's also tilt the camera at a slight, maybe like 20 ish degree angle on a tilt. So everything is just kind of off a little bit. Everything is a little askew. Deciding to one, add a car, two, add foreshortening, and three, add a second person slightly behind him. Uh, it created, well, though each one of those three things created a different set of issues for yours truly because one, um, not so great at foreshortening. Two, I've only drawn a car maybe twice before ever, uh, never from this specific angle. And uh, three, I've never drawn somebody interacting with a car sitting out or anything. So this was uh, an uphill battle. I did have this, this vision of doing like a cyberpunk style poster design with my character of V and Johnny Silverhand in it looking, well, looking like a kind of like a buddy cop thing. I had this image in my mind of that because I did love the story. Uh, we're going to get into the game details later, but when I finished the story, it left me wanting to, well, it left me feeling inspired, man. I wanted to draw Johnny and I wanted to draw my character interacting with Johnny somewhat, as well as for you eagle eyed viewers, you can see what I'm drawing right now. It's Skippy. Uh, and also if you look in V's right hand over on the left there, you'll see he's, he's, he's carrying something that, uh, well, if you know, you know, and if you don't, it's not a spoiler, so don't worry about it. Uh, spoiler alert though, I will be talking about the ins and outs of the, the beauties of this game from start to finish, which will include obviously, uh, big spoilers for it. I'll, I'll give you a little heads up when I get into it right now. I'm just talking about the drawing and the drawing mechanics. So let's get back to that. Right now I'm inking and my style of inking, it's weird. It's just so it's much like my mind, disjointed, full of chaos. It's uh, scratchy and erratic. I know uh, as, as somebody who does work professionally, I should, you know, I don't know, man, probably have some ideas about doing clean lines and doing, um, you know, lines that are unbroken and long and very well defined. But I don't know, man, for me, it's make the mark on the page as that best conveys what you're trying to do. So for me, I want Veen, I want Veen? <laughs> I want V to be obviously in the forefront or shortened. And, uh, you know, I, I do use slightly heavier lines towards the bottom of his feet than I do at the top of his head to help emphasize um, a bit of a dis distancing between what's closest to the camera and what on him is further away. As you guys all know, Keanu Reeves is in this game, AKA Johnny Silverhand. I did not like this pose that he was in. I thought too casual. He's leaning back, but he could be more comfortable. No, 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 no bueno. Let's mix it up. 
let's have him leaning forward way more aggressively. Leg spread. <laughs> Hashtag man spreading. And uh, kind of staking his claim, looking down, saying something snarky. Uh, this might be a, a little bit of a Johnny Silverhand personality spoiler. He's not the most agreeable man in the world. I don't know if you uh, caught that from the trailer when he says, wake the fuck up, samurai. But yeah, he's not uh, hes not exactly Mr. Fucking Rogers. Okay, this next part of the video, I'm gonna finish up the drawing and talk to you a little bit about what I liked about Cyberpunk as well as uh, some Silverhand backstory. So spoiler alert, also be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Okay, this is your official first, last, and only spoiler alert warning for what I'm going to get into next. I am going to go over every motherfucking nook and cranny of this game. Not really. I'm going to put on my best parts, but my best parts just so happen to be, uh, well, spoiler filled. So there you go. Now that the alert is done, I'm going to be straight with you, man. I'm not, I'm not here to start licking the boots of CDPR. I'm not here to, uh, you know, make apologies or excuses for the things that they did. I think the company fucked up in many ways and screwed the consumer in a lot of ways, hence why they're being sued uh, by their investors as well. I am going to ignore all that stuff and just just talk about my my favorite things about the game. My favorite aspect of this game is by far the character of Johnny Silverhand. I think Keanu Reeves knocks it out of the park, especially considering he doesn't do this kind of voice acting. As far as I know, he's never done this kind of voice acting before. And if I'm being particularly critical, there are a few lines of dialogue that can come off a little clunky and a little stiff. Either that was maybe the way it was recorded, the way it was filmed, him just recording by himself. I would put Keanu Reeves' interpretation of Johnny Silverhands up there with some of his other best roles. Some of my favorites being uh, John Wick, of course, Constantine, Neo. One thing about Johnny Silverhands is uh, he's got away with words. Check this out. You're a dick, you know. And you're a cunt. Maybe we'll fit together after all. Uh, Johnny's what some of us might consider a little rough around the edges, if you will. Uh, actually, when the game started, I, I couldn't fucking stand this guy. I wanted to strangle him. I wanted to, like, punch myself in the head hard enough that he would die. Oh, spoiler alert. Uh, Johnny is dead. Johnny doesn't really exist. He died 50 years ago. This is a ghost of Johnny, a digital ghost that's stuck in your brain and it's killing you. If you didn't already know. I should explain that a little bit further. Arasaka killed Johnny after they'd taken his girl and done all the shit to him after the corporations had fucking he'd, he'd fought for them lost his arm for them he watched this uh he'd watched night city he says he watched it grow to be a machine that ate people's dreams broke their spirits and leave, left them with empty pockets arasaka was so fucking pissed at johnny silverhand for what he did dropping a nuke inside of one of their buildings and destroying it that they decided not just kill him. It wasn't enough for Arasaka to murder him. They had to rip his soul out of his mind. Essentially, you know, copy his brain patterns, whatever you want to call it, onto a digital copy and then trap him in a prison for 50 years where he existed in who knows, man, soul limbo or something. Anyway, he ends up in V, the main character, your character's skull, killing him through no fault of Johnny's. So it's not like Johnny's killing you deliberately. Johnny actually... Despite all the torment and the bravado, is actually, turns out, a good person trying to save your life. Sabotage a corpo power station. Jump a corpo transport. Kidnap a corpo suit. Is this a plug for the word corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. 50 years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cop. Truth be told, this game is much more than Johnny Silverhand calling you a cunt and then telling you about how big his cock is. It introduces you to some other amazing characters. Uh, you meet some friends along the way, some frenemies, and then just some downright dirtbags, as well as characters that you can make the sex to. Uh, male, female, um, I think that's it. Uh, oh, gay. You, if, hey, if you like banging dudes 
you can do that. If you're a gal and you like scissoring ladies, you can do that too. And in regards to that, some of the love interests are locked, right? So there's some hard lesbians who won't touch you if you've got a schlong and you're, you know, male appearing. And there's some, uh, there's some stri super straight dudes. So maybe if you're in the body of a dude with a dick, they're not going to want to touch you either because he's super hetero, aka River, who is giving off super gay vibes anyway. So I don't know what his deal is. Uh, cock tease in my book, if you will. Cock teasing aside, uh, my character of V wanted to hook up with Judy, which is all actually permitted in the game if you mod the game. All guess what? All the uh, voice lines for V to have a romantic relationship with Judy as a straight dude work still too, so you could actually have Pan Am and Judy for those who are curious. You can even mod the game to have sex with Johnny Silverhand too, in case you're curious and that was something you wanted to pursue. Weird sexual predilections aside, although this game sometimes feels like it's in the beta, the story of it, the bones of the story and the characters there within are so compelling and awesome and beautiful. You get like six or seven different endings. The Johnny ending made me tear up like a fucking complete bitch baby. And I can't wait to play it again. And I can't wait for DLC and updates and glitches and bug fixes. So uh, let me know what you guys think down below if you played it. Also, apologies for anybody who's playing it on the old consoles. I played it on PC. Yikes. Okay, everybody, we did it. Another one in the book. I'm ready for the next one. If you guys have any suggestions for the next video, somebody you want me to draw, I'm thinking I might draw that Resident Evil gal with the big old titties. Let's see. Uh, big shout out to my Patreon subscribers, my Twitch subscribers, and my newest YouTube subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you for like, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Y'all are great. If you want to get a hold of me, join my Discord, any other stuff, buy my merch print, blah, 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 in the description. And then I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.